Oh man, I'm still excited and hyped for that Spider-Man PS4 sequel. Yeah, there have been a lot of greater PlayStation games in the past. Sony has bought Insomniac Games. Insomniac Games speaks out for the U.S. Democratic Band. And they are completely honest and respectful and we respect Insomniac Games' manners. We got some golden Spider-Man Miles Morales, including that awesome Spider-Verse suit. And also, we got some cool iconic games. Spyro, Ratchet & Clank, Sunshine Overdrive, and Spider-Man. Okay, he was just a Xbox exclusive, but yeah. Insomniac Games is a good gaming studio by the looks of it. Oh man, their studio too. They have a lot of gold. And they have a lot of awesome exclusives, I'm not gonna lie. It looks very outstanding. I can already tell the gaming studio looks has a bright future. Not just Insomniac Games, other gaming... Titles have success too, like even though Death Stranding had a little bit of a rough start, but now, it's good. Ghost of Tashima. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Resident Evil 3. Yeah, all these, all these PlayStation titles are very magnificent. I mean, I'm also, I have a PSP, but also I love the, their games as well, like definitely the real reason why I made that Insomniac Games Spider-Man mask for my cosplay. Pretty cool. So going forward, I think all three companies are fair and square and even rather than saying they're better than this one or no, they're better than this one. All three companies, like I said, we don't want to hear any console wars. We just want to move on and play video games. And then here comes the third party games. At least not all third party games were pretty terrible, especially Doom, Rocket League and the others. All these third party games appeared on all three consoles. Well, except for Mario plus rabbits. So yeah. While I was watching my friends react, while I was watching one of my friends who were, was a big PlayStation fan, I saw that they reacted to this. My favorite YouTuber, Marlin Gaming Nation, who loves all three. But mainly he loves PlayStation, but he also loves the other three. He discussed, I saw him react to this one game. It wasn't developed by Sony, it was made by another third party company. Life of a Black Tiger. What is this game? Well, if you saw the intro, then <laughs> you don't even know what it is. So we're going to react to it. Oh, crud, I got the recorder accidentally. Scam, but that's okay. Oh, boy. Oh, dang. Oof. Not... This is terrible. They're all like low poly unfinished. Frick. This is weird. Life of a Black Tiger. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. You know one thing I like is the music though. Life of a Black Tiger. Life of Black Tiger was developed by Correlation Korean Game Developer Studios 1 Games. And it was originally a mobile game. Made in South Korea, 1 Games, and it was designed for PS4. And yeah. <laughs> it, you definitely... Yeah, you already know. Yep, I can definitely tell this is the worst game of all time. Graphic, 0 out of 10. Gameplay, 1 out of 10. Fun Factor, 2 out of 10. Challenge, 1 out of 10. Controls, 0 out of 10. Story, 3 out of 10. Music, 0 out of 10. We Play Vault, 0 out of 10. Total score, 0 0.8 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> you can definitely tell this is one of the most baddest games ever. 
I think this game should have like stayed in the mobile department and oh boy look at those graphics I mean this was also on a PS4 game like look at these graphics they're like unfinished it's just a barren wasteland here's Spider-Man PS4's classic suit for comparison yeah the footage is from DVESF Look how nicely detailed the web shooters are, and look how marvelous the graphics are in that. Comparing this to a Tiger game that looks very low budgeted. I mean, look at these graphics. These graphics are very, very nicely detailed and high poly by the looks of it. This looks still amazing to this day. And it's still realistic. I love the marvelous detail. I mean, this is high poly detail realistic graphics. This is not one of those. Yeah, Chris called it a kind of a flawed. Huh. A little bit of a tiny score as well. I, If I were that game, I would just get this version on mobile. Oh, and if you look at the reviews for Amazon, the mobile version's better. And it's totally for free. How much does the PS4 version cost? Yeah, I'm not buying it. I'd rather buy the mobile version. Although it isn't, it's not that expensive, though, by the looks of it. I'd rather play Spider-Man PS4 instead, if I owned a PS4. On the plus side, the game itself is not that expensive. Boy, I think I should bring back Last Stand Spider-Man to my channel. So, yeah. That is just, that is the only one worst PS4 game. If I were you, buy Spider-Man PS4 instead. By the looks of it, looks pretty cool. I'll give it credit. One last thing I want to do before I end this video. Hmm. Curious. Yeah, I'm gonna think about getting Spider-Man 3 on my PSP, eventually. Other than that, hope you guys loved this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so peace out.